Hello, Vinay. Oh, your microphone. I cannot listen uh, to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now I can hear yeah. you now. Yeah. How's uh, everything? Uh, How was your day? Very good. I was. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I was very busy this weekend. You were very busy this weekend. Yeah. Oh, the weekend. But, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Do but, you uh, work? Yeah, uh, I work uh, in the platform uh, the Sunday. So you don't have day off, a weekend off. Yeah. No weekends off. Yeah, exactly. Hmm? Exactly. Ah, okay. What about yeah. you, Juan? How was your weekend? Oh, first, uh, Saturday and Sunday. I'm not work. Oh, you don't work on Saturday and Sunday? No, teacher. Never? No. Oh, sometimes. What do you do? Uh, especially for communications. For communications, okay. And uh, what do you do, Rene? Uh, I, some, algunas cosas, como es? <laughs> Se me olvidó algunas cosas en inglés. <laughs> some things? Something, yeah. Uh, I clean the house. Uh, I wash the clothes, uh, my clothes. Ah, yeah. so sometimes, algunas veces, or, no, or, or algunas I, cosas. Yes, yes. Okay, some, some things. things, like, for example, household yeah. chores. Uh, ¿Qué hacer en el hogar? Uh, household chores. Yeah. Yes, yes. House, house, Chores. 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 Mm -hmm. House is yeah. home. No? Okay. Yes, let me write it for you. House. Uh, house is choice. Let me write it. Okay. Uh, yesterday I work in the platform. Household. Yes, household chart. Chores. Household chores. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, oh, okay. Yes, those are quehaceres del hogar, okay. household chores. Household chores. Okay. okay. So you do the household chores on Saturday and Sundays? Yeah. Okay. And you also work in the platform, you say? Yeah. Yesterday. I worked Yesterday. You finished yeah. section no. three or two? Uh, out of uh, five point three. Oh. Five point three. Yeah. Ah, five point three. Yeah. That is good. What about you, Carlos? How was your weekend? How was your weekend, Carlos? Uh, the microphone. The microphone. Or, mm. It's having troubles with the audio. Okay, for today, the topic is imperatives. Have you heard about imperatives? Imperatives. Uh, I don't understand. I understand. Imperatives. Have you heard about imperatives before? Uh, no. No. You no. don't have any idea of what an imperative is? Juan? Um, Carlos? Something that you need to do? Mm, no? More or less. Something you must to do? Sometimes. 
Something that you do every day. <laughs> Close the door. Close the door. Was it this one? Okay. Something that, that you do always. No. Those are some this examples. Close the door. Uh, touch that. For example, if I tell you, um, close the door, wash the dishes, don't touch that, don't yeah. watch too much TV. Your Those mom. are imperatives. So, what do you understand by that? This is uh, imperatives. Those are some examples of imperatives. Oh, okay. By giving those examples, what do you understand by imperatives? Um, um, let me check something that your mother, for example, uh, said to do. Okay. And this is also called? Um, I don't know this. Okay, let me explain that by um by a presentation. Okay. Okay. Um, I have a presentation for that, and this is this one. Okay. Here we are. Mm. Okay, in the second chance, the second try. Okay, this presentation is about the imperatives. Okay. Okay. Okay, the imperatives. Okay, an affirmative imperative can be come with me. Think about it. The negative imperatives, to make a negative imperatives, we use don't. Don't go on your own. Don't cross yet. Those are negative imperatives, okay? Okay. Uh, one important thing to say about the imperative is that they don't need any subject. Mm -hmm. When you are giving an order, the subject is implied. The subject is implied that it's directed you. So you don't have to use um, subject. For negative imperatives, we use don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. And use we use imperatives to give orders. Okay. So you can use imperatives to give orders. Can you read the examples, Rene? Uh, Stand up. This word. Aquí me le falta la de. Stand up. Stand up. Uh, I don't, don't stand up. And stand don't. Up. I don't stand speak. up. Speak. Uh -huh. So those are some uses of imperatives. You use imperative to give orders. For example, stand up. Don't speak. Don't speak. Uh -huh. So uh, esos, eh, usamos imperativos para dar órdenes. Como por ejemplo, stand up. Uh, don't okay. speak. Uh, for example, uh, don't speak with you. Yes, don't speak Spanish. That can be a, an imperative. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, let's read this other. Uh, Juan, can you read this one? Okay. Turn right, then go straight on. Turn right, then go straight on. Uh huh. So. 
you give comments, well, you use imperatives to give instructions. Ajá, también para dar instrucciones se usan imperatives. Por ejemplo, turn right and then go straight on Main Street, for example. Okay. Turn right. Okay. Another use is to, Guadalupe, can you read this slide, please? Le, lend me your Make reply, request. Please. There are two, Guadalupe. Number three, uh huh. Uh, read, May, read, this, read, read, read this for next. We, we will do. Next week. Okay. With. Mm -hmm. Lend me your bike, please. Ok, también se usan los imperatives para pedir cosas. Ok, por ejemplo, read this for next week, will you? Lend me your bike, please. Uh -huh. También se usan imperativos para pedir cosas. For example, I can say, open the window, please. Close the door, please. And give me your book, please. Mm -hmm. This is another uh, use of imperatives. Okay, can you read the next one, uh, Carlos? Or oh, Ricardo, welcome to the class. He's getting ready. <laughs> Hello, Ricardo. Hello. Long time no see you. <laughs> No, it's problem uh, last week. So you couldn't connect? Okay. No, no, it's a uh, more read, reading, read. Mucho llovió. Ah, too, uh, it rained a lot. That's why you didn't connect. Yeah. Can you read this slide, uh, Ricardo, please? Sorry. Invite someone. Ok, también usamos imperatives para invitar a alguien a hacer algo. Por ejemplo, come to my house after school. Ok. Come to the party. Uh -huh. Come to me. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's another use of the imperatives. Let's check another one. Another use of imperatives can be to give advice. También usamos imperativos para dar un consejo. Eat more vegetables. They are good for you. Este es un consejo. Come más vegetales. Son buenos para ti. También usamos imperatives para ofrecer algo. En este caso estamos ofreciendo un, un biscuit, un pancito. Have a biscuit. Uh -huh. Have a biscuit. Ajá, si alguien llega a su casa y usted le dice, ah, toma, toma un poco de té. Have, have some coffee. Ah, siéntese. Ofrece asiento. Have a seat. Have a beer. Have a beer. <laughs> uh -huh. Open the refrigerator and have a beer. On weekends. Okay. okay. Another use of imperative wish. is to wish something to someone. También para desearle algo a alguien. Por ejemplo, have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Oh, nice weekend. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, the imperative of we at first person places también en imperative podemos usar let's. Let's. Si yo digo let's, quiere decir que lo estoy invitando a hacer algo y yo también lo voy a hacer. Together. Let's go for a walk, shall we? Vamos a caminar, podemos? Let's meet tomorrow. Veámonos okay. mañana. Let's meet tomorrow. Ajá, cuando usted dice let's, es como decir vamos a hacer tal cosa. Me incluyo yo también. Yo también lo voy a hacer. Okay. Do you have okay. any questions so far? No. 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 Okay. Is uh, this only imperative form? Wish. Let's. Ah. Uh, Igual, eh, a veces, eh, para no sonar groseros cuando decimos algo, nos incluimos a nosotros. Como para decirle, no corra, o no haga bulla, haga silencio. Si usted no quiere decir, uh, digamos que usted está en una biblioteca, en una biblioteca hay que estar en silencio, pero de repente usted escucha mucha bulla y no les quiere decir, hey, cállense, o guarden silencio. Entonces se puede decir, let's not make too much noise. No hagamos tanto ruido. Let's not. That is, let's not use for it. Okay? Let's okay. not. Let's not uh, make too much noise. Puede decirle, no hagamos tanto ruido para no sonar tan grosero. Entonces me incluyo yo, aunque obviamente yo no estoy haciendo ruido. Let's not run. Noise. No corramos. <laughs> Ok, noise es el ruido. Ruido, noise. Uh, ok. Ok. Let him go. Ok, this is with object. This is not very common. Um, este no es muy común, pero también si sí, puede ser un de imperativo para decirle a, a, a otra persona, como por ejemplo, digamos que uh, alguien se quiere ir. Um, y, y René no, no quiere que se vaya. Digamos que el amigo está discutiendo y, y René no lo deja irse. Entonces, vengo yo y le digo a René, let him go. Déjalo que se vaya. Let him go. Let him go. Mm -hmm. If return is your love, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> It will come back. <laughs> uh, déjenla pensar. Let her think. Déjenlos jugar. Let them play. Mm -hmm. En este caso, toman un object. Him, her, or them. Let it go. It's Let it go. Déjalo Let it ir. Go. So, ¿qué pudieron notar de los imperatives? Um, ok, sí. dijimos que los imperatives son para dar instrucciones, órdenes, mm -hmm. direcciones para invitar a alguien. Deseos. Hay, hay una cosa que, por ejemplo, si yo digo, don't speak. No hablar. Uh, uh, don't speak, please. No hable. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya? No digo you. You don't speak. We don't use, uh, you don't use subject. You don't use subject. No se usa el sujeto. Si yo uh, le doy una orden, le digo, cierre la ventana. Solo le digo, close the window. Close the door. Close, close the, the window, window. Close the door. No le pongo sujeto, porque como cuando estamos dando una orden, una instrucción, un command, un... La, uh, la no sé, es, es Está directo, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando directamente mm. a la persona. Mm -hmm. Entonces no es necesario decir, you, close the window. 
no es okay. necesario usar sujeto porque está, está implícito que el sujeto es usted a quien le estoy dando la orden o la dirección o el consejo. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? so, por eso los comments no okay. llevan sujeto y pueden ser en afirmativo como este, close the window, o pueden ser negativos usando don't. Don't, ok. Uh -huh. ¿La sección es solo en let him go o let them play? En ese caso es como hay una tercera involucrada, ¿verdad? Pero yo no le estoy hablando al que se va. Le estoy hablando al que no lo deja ir. Digamos que Guadalupe no quiere dejar ir al esposo. Entonces yo le digo a, a Guadalupe, déjalo que se vaya. Let him go. Entonces, no le estoy hablando a él, siempre estoy hablando con Guadalupe, pero hay un, un objeto, him. Mm -hmm. ¿Un sujeto ¿Ah? o algo? Eh, no hay sujeto. Le estoy hablando eh, a Guadalupe. Es como un objeto, el objeto es en quién recae. <coughs> ¿Quién se va? Él, him. Mm -hmm. Entonces, el el significado. Cuando se trata... De plural, cuando es plural, digamos, hay them. personas. Them. Them. Uh -huh. T-H-E-M. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, en, en este, digamos, en esta orden, eh, igual sería como que se le estuviera hablando a una sola persona. Ajá, por ejemplo, de repente los niños están molestando que quieren ir al parque, los niños quieren ir al parque, entonces ellos son como el objeto. Pero el sujeto, digamos que es usted, porque con usted estoy hablando directamente. Entonces, eh, René no los quiere dejar ir al parque. Entonces viene la esposa y le dice, déjalos ir, let them go. Let them go. Uh -huh. ¿A quiénes? Oh, okay. A ellos. Sí. En ellos es que reciben la acción. Entonces eso se llama objeto, es el objeto de la oración, no es el sujeto. Ok. okay. Hey, teacher. Yes. Este, and here, ¿en qué momento se va a ocupar? Y her también. Ah, el her se refiere a ella y el his se refiere a él. Ah, vale. <laughs> ok. Ok. Now, with this explanation, ¿para qué nos sirven los commands? En este caso, como se recuerdan, la semana pasada estuvimos estudiando problemas de salud, partes del cuerpo. Entonces, en este caso vamos a ver imperatives para dar consejos. Como decía la presentación, los imperatives también se usan para dar consejos. ¿Cuál es el consejo en este tema? Consejo de salud. This is the advice. No, trabajar muy bien. Work too hard. No, no trabajar muy duro. Trabajar muy duro. No trabajes tan duro. Don't work too hard. Many people is sick because of stress, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, so that everybody. Was good advice. Don't work too hard. <laughs> Let's practice the conversation. Let's repeat. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. Not so, Not good. so good. What's wrong exactly? What's, What's wrong, wrong, What's wrong, wrong, wrong exactly? exactly? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Nice. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay, okay. okay. let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. 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 And don't drink okay. coffee, tea, or soda. And don't, don't drink, drink coffee, 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 or, or soda. Anything else? Anything, Anything else? else? Yes. 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 Don't yes. work too hard. 
Don't, don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Dr. Young. Very well. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Um, no. Um, pronunciación, sí. Tengo duda yo. Eh, aquí donde dice, mm, we are you son qué? Ok, sí, la no pronunciación no. es why. Uh, why, are, why are you so tired? Uh, are you so tired? Uh -huh. Why are you so tired? Uh, 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 why are you so tired? Ok, bien. Any other question? Eh, the meal is píldora. Mm, ¿O pastillas? pastillas o píldoras. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. En teacher eh. le dieron incapacidad al paciente. Yes. <laughs> Don't work too hard in some fields. Uh -huh. Incapacidad. Okay. No puede tomar tampoco café, té o soda. Ay, no. As you see the imperatives, como pueden ver aquí hay varios imperativos. Ok, le dice, take one pill every evening every after dinner. Le está dando una orden de tomarse una pastilla cada tarde después de cena. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Aquí hay otro imperativo. Don't drink, don't drink coffee, coffee, tea or soda. And the last one, don't work too don't hard. Too hard. Don't work too hard. Okay, do we have volunteers to practice the conversation? Hi. Uh -huh. Me. Okay, Ricardo. And me. Okay, okay. Ricardo and Rene. Okay. You start, Ricardo. Ricardo, okay. you start. Okay. Hello, my West. How are you today? No. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mmm. Why are you too tired? I don't know, I just can't sleep at night. Oh, let's try. I look I look at you. I'm I... going to give you some pills. Take on pills every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, the work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Okay, nice work. Let's listen to another two participants. Um, Guadalupe. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Guadalupe and Juan. Wow. Yes. yes, Guadalupe, you can start. Hello. Hello, Mr. Wetz. How are you today? Not so good. That's wrong exactly. Exactly. What's wrong exactly? What's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at a do. Let's take. Let's take, Let's take a look. A look. Look. A look. At you. Look at you. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look at you. Let's take a look at you. Yes. Continue. 
Otra vez, Guadalupe. Ya pasaron Ay. unos poquitos minutos. Como dice que unos minutos después llega la doctora. Entonces ya llega la doctora Guadalupe otra vez. I'm going to have, to, I'm going to have a you some feel. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you some pill. Take on a pill every evening one. after dinner. Uh, take, take one pill one every. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. I don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Um. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. Dr. Guadalupe. Okay, very nice. Nice job. Okay, let's listen to Carlos and Rebecca. Okay. Um, ¿Empiezo yo? Yes, you can start. Maya. Hello, Miss Webb. How are you today? Carlos, we are waiting for you. Continuo. Ok, Carlos, creo que no están bien los, los, el micrófono porque no se le escucha. Ok, vamos a darle tiempo a Carlos, tal vez arregla el problema técnico. Let's listen to Rebecca and Celia. Can you help me with Rebecca, Celia? Okay. Uh, not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm excited. Mm -hmm. um, why are you excited? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's try. Let's take a look. Take a look at you. Okay, continue, Rebecca. Okay. Uh -huh. Este, no sé si me escucho. Sí, sí, sí Rebecca, sí la escuchamos. Amba. Usted. Yes, continue. Es que se había cortado. No sé por dónde vamos. No sé si me señala con el cursor ahí por dónde vamos. Aquí, aquí tiene que seguir. I'm going to see you some pills. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Take one, one pill. pill every. Uh -huh. One pill every night after dinner. Okay. And do you drink coffee? Tea uh, or soda? Okay. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Okay, good. Now, as you see, they used imperatives to give commands or orders. And then we have um, some imperatives here. We have some examples of imperatives that can be used for, for this lesson. Let's repeat. Get some rest. Get some rest. Drink lots of juice. Drink, Drink lots of juice. Drink lots of juice. Take one pill every evening. Take one pill every evening. Don't stay up late. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. 
Don't, 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 work, too don't, don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Okay. Don't work too hard. Okay, any question about vocabulary? No. 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 Okay, as you see, what I explained before, the use of imperatives is only the verb and the complement. Verb, get. Complement, some rest. Drink is the verb, complement, lots of juice. Verb, take, complement, one pill every evening. As you see, no subject, only verb and complement. For negatives, we use don't before the verb, and then the same structure. We have uh, an exercise here that maybe you can complete it in your notebook. So lo pueden completar en su cuaderno. This is complete sentences. Use the correct forms of the words in the box. Vamos a completar estas oraciones. Las primeras dos están completas. Solo vamos a completar la tema seis usando una palabra de aquí de la cajita. Call ya está utilizada. En la número uno dice call a dentist. In the number two, como la número dos, is too much, demasiado. Y ocupamos not worry, pero sabemos que no vamos a poner not, sino que vamos a auxiliarnos de don't. Cuando sea negativo, vamos a usar don't. En este caso, don't worry too much. Okay. Ya usamos call y not worry. I'll give you a couple of minutes so you can um, write the correct forms of the words in the box in your notebooks. Do it in your notebooks. Yes? And teacher, yes. And the question, she or she, the S C E. ¿Qué significa? Uh, what number is it? Mm -hmm. What number is it? Sorry. Sí, sí. Ver. Número. Ver. Ah, sí, es ver. Uh -huh. Ah, ver. Uh -huh. <tose> I finish. Okay, have you finished? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Number three, uh, Ricardo. Take two aspirin. Take two aspirin. So you just take. Take two aspirin. Take two aspirin. That's okay. Celia, number four. Don't go to school. 
Don't go to school. Very good. Uh, number five, Juan. Stay in bed, teacher. Stay in bed. That's okay. Rebecca, number six. Rebecca. Rebecca. Number four. Six. No good. Number six. Number, ah, number six. six. Yes. Daddy. Okay. C. C. A doctor. Uh -huh. yeah. Guadalupe, number seven. Uh -huh. mm, no, no, it. Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink, don't drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't drink coffee. And number eight, Ricardo. Don't eat any candy. Uh -huh. Don't eat any candy. Uh-huh. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Okay, good advice. Now let's write two pieces of advice for each problem. What are the problems? Read with feet. This is my feet hurt. My, my feet, feet hurt. hurt. I have a sore wrist. I have a sore wrist. I have the flu. I have, I have the flu. flu. I can't sleep at night. I can sleep, sleep at night. Mm -hmm. So, oh, write two pieces of advice for each problem in your notebook, and then we're going to share. Vamos a escribir dos consejos para cada problema, mm -hmm. usando mm -hmm. imperatives. Okay. Okay.
No, me traje el lunes, no, pues, mañana no, mañana. Muy eh, bueno. Finish? Yes, teacher. Finish. Okay, now I'm going to divide you in two sections for some minutes so you can practice. What I'm going to do is to put it into sections. Then you will practice, for example, uh, making short conversations. I will say a problem. And you will read your advice for me. Okay. Uh, for example, Juan, I have a flu. I have the flu, Juan. Okay. Take aspirins. Stay in bed. Okay. Take aspirin and stay in bed. Yeah. Any other? Drink uh, tea, probably. Drink hot work. tea. Cold tea. Take a cold tea. Take okay. cold pills. Uh huh. Take a lemonade. Drink lemonade. Uh huh. Lemonade. Drink Take. lemonade. Okay, so I'm going to divide you into sections. Lo voy a dividir en secciones para que practiquen así como hicimos ahorita. Uh, uno de ustedes dice, uh, Guadalupe, my feet hurt. Entonces Guadalupe le da los consejos para los pies adoloridos, los que ella escribió. Y así. Ok. Ok.
Can you hear me? So you finish practicing? Yes. Okay, so now that you practice imperatives, uh, you can continue practicing the platform. This is part of the section number three. Uh, section number two, sorry, we're about to finish. Tomorrow we will finish section two and we will start section number three, okay? Okay. Teacher. So, thank you. Yes. Eh, una consulta. Eh, digamos que que no si yo no puedo ver los videos en la plataforma, pero realizo los ejercicios, el progreso siempre es el mismo o va. No siempre es lo mismo, o sea, el progreso se le mide en la plataforma. Digamos que las clases, eh, estas horas clases en línea es como un refuerzo a la plataforma y también a, eh, porque en la plataforma usted no puede conversar con nadie, ni hay nadie que le corrija pronunciación. Ese es básicamente el objetivo de la clase eh, en, en, en vivo, corregirle pronunciación y reforzar lo de la plataforma. Y si hay alguna pregunta referente a algún ejercicio, también se le ayuda. Uh -huh. Ajá, ajá, yo me refería a los videos de la plataforma. Ah, no, 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 esos, o sea, sí los tiene que ver para saber de qué se trata la sección, el, el uh -huh. ejercicio, porque sí, siempre es que, después no. del video hay un ejercicio. Sí, es que estaba teniendo problemas para verlo, por eso le preguntaba, pero de igual, de igual manera realizaba los ejercicios. Ajá, sí, ok, eso está bien. Bueno, gracias. Okay, thank you, see you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep good well. Night, everybody.